In this lesson, we provide a foundation for the principles of expected values as they apply to discrete random variables. When you complete this lesson, you should know the definition and meaning of the expected value for a function of a discrete random variable and how to use the probability mass function to evaluate the expected value for any function of a random variable. Well, the expected value or mean value for a discrete random variable is computed by summing the product of all the values the random variable can take with the probability that the random variable takes those values. As an example, let's look at the expected value for a random variable that takes its values over the positive integers with a geometric probability mass function. Now recall that this random variable corresponds to the number of trials it takes to see the first success in a sequence of Bernoulli trials with success probability equal to the parameter p. As I said earlier, to compute the expected value for this random variable, we'll need to sum the product of all the values the random variable can take with the probability of taking those values. Now because the range is all the positive integers, the summation is from 1 to infinity. And because the random variable has a geometric distribution, the probability that it takes each value, k, is 1 minus p raised to the power k minus 1 times p, where again p is the success probability parameter that characterizes the geometric random variable's probability mass function. Now if we factor out the terms that don't depend on the index k, we see that the answer is determined by evaluating an infinite summation. And this summation is solved by use of this identity for the product of a linear term with a geometric series. Now using that identity, we get the following equation, which reduces to the simple value of 1 over the success parameter p. In addition to the expected value for a random variable, we will often find it useful to determine the expected value for some functions of a random variable, where the expected value is defined as the summation of the product of the function applied to all the values that the random variable can take with the probability that the random variable takes those values. As an example, suppose that the random variable has a range equal to the set of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and the function of the random variable is its value raised to the power of 3. This table, then, shows the values of the function for every value the random variable could take. When the random variable takes the value 1, the function is 1. When it takes the value 2, the function is 2 raised to the third power, or 8. When it is 3, it goes to 27, 4 goes to 64, and 5 goes to 125. Now if, for example, the random variable is uniformly distributed over its range, then its probability mass function would be equal to one-fifth over that range, and the expected value for the random variable raised to the power 3 would be equal to 45. As another example, suppose a discrete random variable has its range equal to the integers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and its probability mass function is as shown here, that is, the probability that it's equal to 1 is one-half, Probability of the random variable is equal to 2 is 1 fourth, equal to 3 is 1 eighth, and equal to 4 is 1 eighth. Then suppose we wanted to determine the expected value for a function that is equal to the square of the random variable minus its value, or x squared minus x. In that case, we would evaluate the expected value by using the definition, which is the sum of the products of the random variable evaluated by the function with the probability that it takes those values. That is, g1 times the probability mass function at 1 plus g2 times the probability mass function at 2 plus g3 times the probability mass function at 3 and g4 times the probability mass function at 4 which for our function and probability mass function evaluates to these values, which reduces to 22 over 8, or 2.75. Now as a final example, suppose we have a random variable with a binomial distribution with success probability p and number of trials n. And let's suppose that the success probability is 0 0.25 and the number of trials is 20. And now let's try to determine the expected value for the square root of this random variable. 
Now, if we wanted to use MATLAB to solve for this expectation, we could use the following code segment. Here we're taking advantage of MATLAB's function BinoPDF that will evaluate the binomial probability mass function. So what we'll first do is define the success probability as 0.25, the number of trials is 20. We'll set up an index over the range from 0 incremented by 1 up to n, which is 20. And then we'll define the probability mass function using the BinoPDF function. And then the expected value of the square root of x is the sum of the square root of n, all of the index values, times the probability mass function. And if we do this, we'll find that the expected value of the square root of this random variable is roughly 2.1886. Now if we prefer to use Mathematica for this example, we could also use built-in functions for evaluating the probability mass function for the binomial distribution and then evaluate the required summation to determine the expected value. With both MATLAB and Mathematica, you should consult the manual or search online for more information about the functions that I've used to evaluate these expectations. Those functions and many others that are related will be very valuable in your study of probability.